All right, let's get back inside. <laughs> I'm like, did I write that down? I did. Okay. We should be down here. Back down here. So now we got to go back up. Back through the... The hands of grabbiness. <coughs> Again. I do have a key, but that key's not going to help me much yet. Yeah, let's go up the ladder. Try the other door, shall we? Oh, hey, I had to go that way anyway. Look at that. I'm going to stay along the far side of the wall. Here. By the way, it's kind of creepy. Ow. Oh, here we go. Alright, one just went the cliff there. <laughs> Maybe it's the one I took out earlier? Something written on paper? It still looks like a kid's writing. I peed in my pants. I gotta wash them so no one but nobody finds out. Oh, I think I saw a shadow. I think someone saw me. Okay. Good, okay. Okay, I can go inside this door at least. Bottle filled with black powder. Diary. I've been watching the surveillance room's people the whole time, and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. Oh, you know what would help if I actually open the or use the right. things. Okay. There we go.
Yeah, it's helping. Okay. <coughs> this ladder should take us just a blank platform. Okay. takes us here okay so we're just back out on the other on the outside of the the floor loop here okay not a big deal we'll just lying here. Okay. Well, yeah. I can see that. For the most part, those ones are being... yesterday. In the cafeteria, I heard there's a death chamber behind the kitchen, and then they take meat straight from the dead people and cook it. That really scared me. Frozen diary in the scrapbook. So, diary, I'm in trouble. I stood in front of the surveillance room and yelled as loud as I could, but nobody came out. Quite sure what you are, but stop on it. <laughs> oh, there's a hole. There's a hole in the floor, dear Liza. Dear Liza, there's a hole in the floor, dear Liza. A hole. written on the paper. Now it will look like I'm sleeping. Huh? Were those footprints? I wonder if they saw me. Okay. Quite sure what that is, but I'm going to just. Okay, there's another hole. Make that three holes. Bunch of 
books and things all scattered about. Let's go up, I suppose. I have no problem just running up, up either. I wonder if it's because we're so high up, they're just like, no, we're done. Speaking of being high up. Okay. Looks like there's just a couple ways to get over there. <coughs> that one of them. Locked from the inside. So let's run around to the other side to see if we can open it that way. Oh, there's a handle. Will you turn it? Yes. I believe this is the sluice gate they were talking about, the one up here on the roof. Yeah, let me make sure that I... Or something I missed <coughs> down at the bottom. So let's go all the way back down. And thankfully we have the ladders. We can just go down now. this time. <clears throat> okay. It said there's something I missed and I might need it. back here, okay?
trying something. this madness. seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Some ladder. Take the sick medallion. Can be equipped along with a weapon. Anti-spiritual, anti-spirit effects while held, but will eventually break. All right, so it's a temporary ghost repellent. Let's hope it's a, a, a temporary ghost repellent. Yes, that, that could be handy. <clears throat> Show anybody you know I'm streaming. <laughs> okay. Now do I just... I just jump in a hole. <laughs> okay, eight o'clock room. That's where it says I need to head. Because you know that it also takes up the enemy. But actually, first things first, let's probably head back and uh, heal up for a minute because we need the health. Health. And I know I'm a wimp and weenie, but. You know, being able to just go back in the hole. Is a handy thing to do. I'm probably not going to sleep tonight because I made a shaker. Or I can just get a nice drink out of things there. Huh, TV's off again. You were on. I remember to look up. That was <coughs> super tenant again, excuse me. Keeps pacing by the apartment. Of course, this is just as creepy as him pacing around the apartment. <laughs> Must be something exciting on TV there, Eileen. So I've watched that loop. Not a big, not much. Also, let's just go ahead and save real quick. 
this, you know. Savings, saving is important in a game where you can't necessarily do a lot. You know, where there's no auto saves, as it were. All right, looks like we're all healed up and ready to go. Head back in the hole. It's this door. <coughs> See. But since I have already made the laps up. Not a big deal to just hit the third floor. You know, just it's squishy. Oh no, I'm only on the second floor. Did those things respawn? They might have respawned for all I know. There we go. That should be the third floor. Okay, should be this one, I believe. The guy is correct. Oh, it's bright in here now. When the lights turn on. here. One of the doors I couldn't immediately enter the first time. Jump in the hole. Hop on in. Whee! And again. Hop in. Whee! That way there's nothing else chasing me in it on easy mode, I suppose. <coughs> it easy. Oh hey! Shower. This door unlock? Sweet, okay. Door is open. Hey, it's on the ladder. Let's climb the ladder. There's a document. <coughs> the place continues to deteriorate. The doors to a number of cells no longer open. As a result, the kids inside can no longer go outside. But the less they know about that, the better. I can't open the doors, but from this room I can watch them get more and more emaciated each day. With no food and never showering themselves, they turn into smelly little gray lumps in there. Following the suggestion of an engineer, we've disposed of the corpses by digging a hole below the cells. Since each floor of this building can be rotated independently, we can dispose of the bodies without the others noticing by aligning each cell with the body in it vertically. Oh. <coughs> P.S. Chief, I thought you were just dying to see the interrogation room behind the kitchen. I understand your feelings, but have you noticed? There are three rooms with bloody beds. One is on the first floor, one is on the second floor, and one is on the third floor. If you line those ro three rooms up, then it's bingo. Interesting. So we're looking for bloody beds. That's just dirty. Get me out. Get me the hell out of here. Where is it that it censored the word hell? Am 
not a bloody bed per se, but now there's the room with the noose. Those things. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's bloody bit. So, if we look at the map, looking at the one o'clock room. We'll do that. Go up the second floor. Another document. <coughs> to keep a close eye on the kids, it's important to keep the cells well lit. The lights on the third floor were originally bought as searchlights. As a precaution against a blackout, they were set up to run a, on a private generator. There's a, hyd hydro a hydroelectric generator in the basement to light up the first and second floors. To use its corpse disposal chutes. Since each floor of the building can be rotated, you can light up any of the cells by matching up the holes. Repeating this periodically is an effective way to keep the kids fearful and well-behaved. P.S. Chief, if you turn the handle in the middle of this room, you can easily rotate the cells. You can't rotate the first floor, so align the second and third floors with the first floor cell that has the blood-stained bed. By the way, if you use the peephole in this room, it's easy to make sure you're doing it right. Give it a try. Also, please don't forget to open the sluice gate on the roof. Much appreciated, Chief. second one in okay so we're currently looking at would it be 11 o'clock yeah that's the room with the powder <coughs> blood on the floor but not on the bed Blood on the floor, but not blood on the bed. It's the clothing room. Okay, currently this is the seven o'clock floor. And that needs to rotate one, two, four. Four times, I think. So if I turn it left. In theory. Or did I go the wrong way? Okay. I didn't necessarily go the wrong way. <coughs> but I think I still have... Three more, three more hole turns. Then, yeah, this one should be bloody bed. Turn a couple more times. I don't think it's going to make a sound if it locks in place the way it needs to. But if we look here, bloody bed should be in the upper left. Go down the ladder. that one <coughs> that one and now we need to go up to the third floor 
Memo. Nope. The secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen this month is 0302. Thank you for your cooperation. Or thanks. Put the secret number memo in your scrapbook. Creep guys. Okay. More of those things. Books. Another room with a hole. And there's our bloody bed. Okay. We're going to say that's 10. It's a good thing I don't use all this paper, normally. Let's see if I turn it correctly. If not, I will have to return it. I did something right. Hang on. Once. I guess they're all aligned. button. Nope, nope. Gotta go down, remember? Go down. Let's go. Who is that boy? And who are you? His name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching their kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage. But according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the holy mother business. Scary. Sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> my God. Get 
out of here, you monstrosities! Go get out of here, go! Okay, I assume this door is locked from the inside. Of course it is. seems like a good time to head back through the, the hole. We'll save. Remember to always save, folks. Take it to someone who who finished SMT5 this month. <laughs> save, save, save. I can get <coughs> excuse me. All right, so far nothing exciting seems to be happening. However, I'm gonna go ahead and Sir Pipe seems to stay intact though, so I might argue with it. Drop a nice healthy save there. Excellent. I've, dro I've dropped nine saves. Okay. I've been gone a little bit. She's no longer watching the tube. Well, there she goes again, fighting off the invisible bugs. Anyone else <laughs> just now think of it that you know, it used to be called the boob tube way back in the day. I'm not even sure where, you know, why it was called the boob tube. Why, why is it called? Why was it given that specific name? I mean, I understand too because cath, you know, CRT is cathode. Uh, is it cathode ray tubes? I think they're called. But the you know the big old bunky, uh, bulky, funky, bunky, bulky TVs and and the like. All right, I guess I drop. But yeah, those big bulky TVs. Remember those? Yeah. Doesn't not mentioning in here that I need to align the third floor. To the bloody beds. I need the next. <coughs> Alright, just dive on in. Whoosh. Whoosh. And what's more with feeling? Whoosh. So if I focus on this door, it should be the door to unlock. Excellent. Well, 
Well, they did say it's in the room behind, <laughs> behind the kitchen. There's a plate on the door. Move the plate. Okay, the watchfulness placard. It's dark and I can't see the buttons. Okay. Okay, easy if not fix. Tendrils. Okay, remember to look at your... Okay, bloody bad. Go up. Bloody bad. <clears throat> Look at, thank you. Okay, I think I just have to turn it right once more. And then just double check to see. Now we just have to get there, which means what else to look? Brightened up in here because of the room on the third floor. Okay. <coughs> which means, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, good gravy. <coughs> which means, in theory, I need to go down the down the ladder. Going down the ladders are important. Actually, does it matter if I drop down the hole? We're gonna find out here in a second if it's gonna matter if I drop down the hole. is uh, secret number number zero three zero two okay back to the map zero three zero two Alright, so what? Oh, I know they mentioned Death Chamber. So this should be number 19 or 18. Those numbers don't matter because those are just the victim numbers. <coughs> Eighteen, eighteen, one, twenty-one. What's the significance of? Yep, eighteen, one, twenty-one. What again? What's the significance of one twenty-one? Is that Sullivan's birthday? Is that a particular number he wants to meet? What does that number mean?
Uh oh, I missed an item. Hopefully that's not gonna. necessarily be my downfall in the very near future here. Um, blood is sprayed all over. Blood is stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water filled room under, under the cylindrical prison. <laughs> okay. Let's take care of a few extra things here. Like rotating the right direction here. Something on going there's something going on outside here. How's it going with room three oh two? Well I uh, just tried to open it up, but it looks like something's uh blocking it from the inside. Oh. Anyway, it's not the first time. You mean wasn't just him either. There's uh, something wrong with this whole apartment. I don't see that. You're scaring me. Uh, well, uh, well, anyway, I just slipped a note under the door. Also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Every time, no one notices that every time that there seems to be another bloody handprint on the wall. <coughs> Scrap of red paper stuck in here. Stained with blood and I can't read it. But I'll add the superintendent's memo into my scrapbook. Another scrap of red paper. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghost. It saved my life. It was stuck near the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change in response to the ghost victim's power. Strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence, but that kind of power is extremely valuable. July 23rd. Hopefully that's not another new item that I haven't missed out on yet. Because I missed out on the stun gun. <laughs> According to the guide. No, I'll hold on to the Saint Spear for right now. <coughs> Check inside the hole. Try it again. Third turn's a charm? No. Alright, let's save. Alright, water prison world.
Head back down the hall. Big ol' hole now. A lot of noise coming from inside the hole. Will I go in? Yes. Yes, I will go inside the hole. Thing is definitely around here. But what could it be? Well, instant teleportation back. We just got here, so there's not much I really can do yet. Let's just go down the down the way here. Hey, look, it's a car. What's a car doing here? The lock is broken. Broken ladder? What on earth is that sound? There's more than one <coughs> down here. Okay. Locks broken. Well, it says I'm on basement three, yet there's a clear sign here. the question. Hi. <sighs> You're a real person. Hey. You're the guy that lives across from me. Yeah. My name's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree. From 207. Hi. What the hell's happened to us? That hold in this freaky world. But if you're here too, then there <coughs> must be something wrong with the whole apartment building. This point. That must explain what happened to that other guy too. What other guy? The guy who lived in 302 before you. A journalist. He disappeared one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Anyway, I'm getting the hell out of here. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Watch out for that kid. <laughs> Whoa, hi there. Okay, takes about six good whacks from out from the pipe here. Even 
even so, where am I? I've seen this sign before. So this is Hotel South of Hotel South Ashfield, okay. Yeah, there's a second appearance of a car even further down. sword stuck in his stomach and he's holding something in his hand. Take the item in his hand. Yes, I'll take the ghost's key. The key the ghost was holding. Sword stuck in his stomach. Take that. Yes, the sword of obedience. Extremely rare sword when used against downed ghost. It stops him in its place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. Okay, bye. I assume I'm going the right way. Take the pistol bolts, even though... What the hell? Something reeks. <coughs> okay, I assume I went down. Door I hadn't gone through yet. There's some goodies in here. All sorts of sports supplies, but nothing of particularly interesting. Oh, we got a five iron. Golf club, powerful and easy to use, but looks like it could break. <coughs> Aluminum act. Reasonable, powerful, reasonably, reasonably powerful and easy. To use as a weapon, excuse me. <laughs> Just a good job. Alright, so let's go and uh, drop some stuff off, I guess. Into the hole, or enter the hole. Let's see how we get out of here. Knocking on the door. Hello? Hello? Hi. Better check on your neighbor soon. Oh boy. She keeps running off. Oh, hi. Okay, 
Let's drop stuff off. We'll save and we'll continue on our journey. <coughs> well, reasonably powerful, so we'll no longer need the steel pipe. Drop that off. Drop you off. Guess I don't need you. And we'll keep just the healing kit because, again, I haven't. Granted, I'm playing on easy, so, you know, as you would. Nope, I need to save. Save, 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 save. Save any save, save, save. Watch the whole thing just in case something loops around. And I'm just missing something. Or maybe that's it. It's definitely different. She's stretching. I mean, nothing like a good stretch. <laughs> Again, this morning, <coughs> I stretched my back pop. So, you know, it worked. Worked out in my favor. Maybe I, need, maybe I need to do a little bit more stretching. Of course, I can't look much more than where I'm at. Like, I can... Would she loop back around to her stretches? Or it just kicks me out altogether. Does anyone else just randomly wander around their apartment? Sometimes I do. It just happens that way. Okay, enough. <coughs> Eileen watching. Back out of here we go. So we got two doors. That one's just locked. Shelf's about to fall apart. Nothing interesting on it. I was hoping to help it out. <coughs> Filled with volleyballs. Okay. I think we found everything we should be able to find here. Alright, as long as there's no ghosts, I think I'll be okay. I just don't know whatever that was. Okay, whatever that is, that sounds big. I'm on the seventh floor. Great. All right, puppers go down in two hits with baseball bat. Oh, looks like a cage for a uh... still have to stop on the bug thing to get him to go. Bad spot. I think 
you're dead. What do I keep looking at? Is it the cage? Oh, it's a key. Yama. Enough cat food for an army of cats. I found some keys. I got Albert, Albert Sports key. Down in the pet shop, it has Albert Sports written on it. So it must be the key to the other door. Hammer. <laughs> Do I want to go down the stairs yet? I think I want to go back up to the... To the Albert Sports. And go through that door. Just a hunch. I mean, I found a key. Why not go... find that door and hopefully go through it before something has me for lunch. Okay. Use the Albert Sports key. Alright, so it was six hits on the monkeys. so much more handy. Three shots for the for the monkeys? Yes, please. <coughs> and if I can do it right, I don't take any damage, which is... Come on, even better. Sounded like a. I didn't check the store first, did I? No, I did not. Okay, never mind. Door is locked, you might say. Yes, door is actually locked. Oh. Did I want to go through here yet? Never mind. I'm just leaning against the, the. Oh, hey, there's Richard. Bye. Oh, he's got the kid. Are you the kid he was talking about? Yes, he's the kid. You live in that apartment too, huh? Say, you look a lot like a little punk that I once caught sneaking around there. Do you know something about what's going on? Hey! Seems to be cutting off a little bit at the end here, but it... <coughs> Something sure, sure is squishy down here. That well, looks like a perfect opportunity for item. Charge up my weapon swing. 
Through the that is not the south door, apparently. Yes, I'll take the nutrition drink. Yes, please. Sure what they mean by south door. There's no door. Hang on. Let's go up the ladder, I guess. Dog stop? I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I'm not supposed to go this way just yet. Let's go back. <coughs> Let's go down the ladder. I mean, there's no... Okay, I take that back. There are a couple doors, but maybe if I have to go up the ladder... this way, yes? Ah. I can't go that way. Never mind. Since there's a door I can go. So I'll take them. That way is blocked off. Okay, good to know, unless I, it's a gap I can go through that way. I didn't realize that was an actual door I could go through. Three buttons light up vertically. Top button. came out this way. Okay, there wasn't much else out here. Okay, good to know. Okay, game says that there is... Large 
Where's Spade? Ordinary spade from a construction site. It looks like it would be an impressive weapon. Some kind of strange sword taking another sort of beatings. Yep. All right. Hello. All right, so we have been here. So this. yep, nope, it's this ladder. Oops, wrong button. This ladder set here. <laughs> So that takes these out. Alright, that takes them out in two shots. Good to know. You can go ahead and Okay, so spade still takes them out in two shots. Nope, nope. Yeah, I do want the map. Gotta check all the doors. You never know what you can find. Yep, yeah, there's the other side there. Cause I've got friends on the other side. Oh, there's a door here. It's probably locked. Yep. <laughs> Too many of the monkeys. Too many monkeys. Well, let's switch back to the bat. Bat just seems to swing faster. Please let there be a hole, <laughs> a hole somewhere. Definitely can use a hole at this point. Or the end of the sec section, one or the other. I don't necessarily want to use my healing item just yet. Though I do have a, I do, in theory, have a healing drink should I need it for too long. I think if I take, if I take one more semi large hit. garbage nothing useful Wooden crates nothing interesting all right I got three doors locks broken lock is broken door The rusty axe. Yes, I'll take the axe. A little short, but powerful and easy to handle. Yep. No. 
not what I wanted to do. Uh, mask. Oh, there is one. Excellent. Oh, let's read the note on the table real quick. There's a memo here. Boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of this store's phone number. But the phone number is written right there on the sign as the roof. Anybody could see it from the set from Seth out. Ah, oh, good grief. Try this again. But the phone number is written right there on the sign on the roof. Anyone could see it from South Ashfield Street. Is that really okay? I mean, if you want to keep the memo just hanging around anywhere, you know, we're fine. For right now, though, let's enter the hole. Oops, excuse me. Okay, real quick, we're gonna just sit here and well, I guess we can run around the apartment real quick. Wrong way. Okay, so that says a spade. Healing item. All right, look out the window. Ah, Bar Southfield, five 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 three seven five zero. I have the guide open, so that's going to help. See if anybody else is lurking outside. Uh, just the superintendent again. Just standing there strangely. Weird. Just standing there. And since we're here. Really? That many people? You sure you can handle it? Oh, really? Huh? Oh, no problem. So I better start getting ready soon. I told you, no problem. I'll be there. What? Oh, that. Yeah, you're telling me. I really want to find another place soon. There's just, I don't know, something about this place. Besides, you know, the people in your wall there. And you're back sitting on the bed. Okay. Okay. Of course, this is the longest session I've done yet. Let's get back in the hole here. Seven five zero. Through the door we go. Oh, can't go that way. Oh. Guess 
I go up. <coughs> I mean, I've got the axe at the ready, so I think I'll be okay. Oh. Alright, I'll just have a ghost follow me upstairs now. Seven from my apartment building. Take the plate, the chaos placard. I right, got the placard at least. Right. I was being electrocuted. Going on the tag, 19. Assuming that was, I'm sorry. <laughs> out of Henry there. We couldn't see it because of the, you know, the way the screen was fading out. <coughs> there was, you know, of course, no subtitles. Back in our apartment, and we'll see you guys all in the next one.